find x or solve for x are perhaps the most common phrases used in mathematics problems. Such questions are an example of algebra, which may look like a mix of symbols, definitions, procedures, and formulas. Unlike arithmetic, the letter x represents changing numbers, which are called variables. Algebra is a huge field and comprises of a vast array of topics, such as indices, thirds, systems of equations, quadratic equations, inequalities, etc. It is difficult to list the importance and real-life applications of all these topics, so let us talk about the one which is ignored most of the time, the quadratic formula. We ritually recite the quadratic formula as x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. The word quadratic is related to the square of a variable. It is the solution of the equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. Graphically, the right-hand side of the equation is represented by a parabola. You can witness quadratic equations in action whenever you see a cricketer hitting a six, a water fountain, an arch, the approximate flight of a missile, satellite dish antennas, etc. However, the usage is not limited to only flight and geometric problems, and quadratic equations are also used for modeling profit and revenues in companies. Let us try to explore this aspect of quadratic equations using a simple sample problem. Suppose the cost of a popular mobile phone handset is £500, and 45,000 of them are sold a month. The sales team of the company did some research and concluded that for each £20 decrease in price, the company can sell 5,000 more handsets per month. How much should the company charge for the handset such that they can maximize their monthly revenues? A revenue in a month is equal to the total amount the company makes selling these handsets, which is price times number of handsets sold. For example, here, without any changes, the revenue is £22,500,000. But with the new input from the sales team, we know that for each £20 decrease in price, they can sell an increase of 5,000 handsets per month. This means if they sell a handset for a single £20 decrease in price, that is £480, then they would sell 50,000 handsets for a monthly revenue of £24 million. Pounds. The question of setting the price of the handset which would maximize the monthly revenues depends on the number of £20 decreases. Algebra can help us in this situation. Let x be the number of £20 decrease in price and each decrease will result in the sales of 5,000 more handsets per month. Then, the monthly revenue can be written as the following quadratic equation. The maximum of the graph of this equation yields the value of x equals 8. Therefore, to maximize the monthly revenue, the company should sell each handset at the price of £500 minus 20 times 8, that is £340. At this price, they will be able to sell 45,000 plus 5,000 times 8, that is 85,000 more handsets for a maximum profit of £28,900,000. Now let us move on to functions. A function is a mathematical object which defines a relationship between two variables. Every input has one output variable. Like a sculpture needs a chisel and a hammer to carve out a sculpture in stone, wood or bronze, mathematicians use functions to transform numbers, shapes and even other functions. Let us consider the previously discussed parabolic function f of x equals x squared. To be more precise, we should read this as the function of f which maps x to x squared. Functions are used to model a variety of real-life scenarios. For example, parabolas belong to a wider class of power functions of the form x to the power of n, in which the variable x is raised to a fixed power n. For a parabola, that 
n equals 2. Tuning this value of n gives us handy tools to model various real-life scenarios. Take for example the case where n equals to 1. Then the function represents a steady growth or decline. If you leave an empty bucket in a steady rain, the water level will rise at the bottom of the bucket linearly in time. Setting then n equals to minus 2 will yield the inverse square function, which describes how intensity of sound decreases with distance. The widely used exponential function is routinely used by mathematicians and epidemiologists to model the COVID-19 infection curves. As a final example, let us explore the case of catenary curves, which derives its name from the Latin word catena, which means chain. Catenary curves are given by the hyperbolic cosine, which is the exponential cousin of the parabola. The parabola and the catenary appear to be very similar when x is close to zero. Yet, when we move away from zero, the two functions begin to vary dramatically due to the presence of the exponential. Now, where do we see catenary curves in real life? A cable hanging from two vertical supports forms the shape of a catenary. Think of this hanging cable as a part of a bridge and add supporting vertical cables to the horizontal span. Therefore, the horizontal span on which the roadway of the bridge is built is now supported by the vertical cables. However, when the final construction is over, the curve will be a parabola. Engineers use this trick regularly to construct suspension bridges. Architects use inverted catenary curves in the shape of arches because it reduces compressive forces and results in a natural stable structure. Due to their extreme stability, their thickness can be reduced and no additional weight is required. Some examples of catenary arches are the Gateway Arch, the Market Plaza, the Kingdom Towers, etc. 270 supporting catenary arches are used in the attic of the iconic Casa Mila apartment to avoid adding weight to the building. The inverted arch can also be seen in other bridges, such as the Hohenzollern Bridge in Germany. Potters also use catenary kilns because of their stability. The integrity of the structure is threatened by temperature differences, and circular kilns have this issue compared to catenary kilns. To conclude, we see how algebra and functions are present in different aspects of our daily life. The real-life applications shown in this video are just the tip of the iceberg, and the significance of algebra and functions is much more than that.